Welcome back. Just about to be 9.30 here, and 44 years ago, wow. he graced televisions <laughs> for the very first time. Today, he's doing so for the very last time, surrounded by those who admire him the most. Through his incredibly calm and collected nature, our Marty Gonzalez has spent more than four decades informing the public about everything from whale migration in Baja to the Loma Prieta earthquake that we saw just moments ago. Here at Cron 4, we're honored to be the station you chose to spend your very last days with. Not only were you a professor in your own right, but every day you've taught us how to be better, Thank brighter you. journalists as well. And for that, we are forever grateful. So here is to Marty Gonzalez. The copyright law that took effect January 1st, 1978, is one that covers a wide range of topics. Music, literature, and stage plays are just a few forms of artistic work covered by copyright. September 16th is a day that means as much to Mexicans, Mexican Americans, and Chicanos as July 4th does to most American citizens. Meanwhile, down in Southern California, Cesar Chavez is raising the possibility of a nationwide lettuce boycott. To give you an example of just how good Mary Lou is, she's the only American gymnast to score a perfect 10 in competition, and she's done it four times. When the quake struck Tuesday afternoon at 5.04, one of the trucks on 880 was heading towards Oakland on the upper ramp. It fell over onto the street. The rest of its load is over there. It's a painstakingly slow process. We've been watching them for the past two hours, and they haven't made much progress. I'm Marty Gonzalez, professor in the Becca department. I teach the broadcast uh, journalism courses in the department. Not only do I teach broadcast journalism, but I also practice it. Uh, I've I've been in a television newsroom since the late 70s. Uh, now I'm anchoring a morning newscast on the weekends at KRON-TV. The couple has been the subject of intense media attention ever since their relationship became public several weeks ago. Good morning, I'm Marty Gonzalez. The space agency NASA immediately declared an emergency after it lost contact with the Space Shuttle Columbia. I've been able to do a lot in journalism and, and the life experiences that I've had have just been terrific. Cameraman Sam Gonzalez accompanied me on this trip to Nicaragua and what you're about to see is his look at this country. When the Soviet Union collapsed, Cuban agriculture lost its major supplier of fertilizer and insecticides. For close to 800 million people around the world, this is the most sacred place on earth. The reason is simple. As the grays go down to the bottom to feed, they turn on their right side. In essence, what they're doing besides eating is pulverizing the barnacles on that side of their body. Block furloughs for state workers. The governor had wanted three unpaid days a month for state workers beginning today. The administration says the furloughs are needed because California doesn't have a budget. We're on, but let's get to another big story we're following this Friday morning, the roadmap to reopening. All right, we want to break into the sports report with breaking news. In the Associated Press reporting, Joe Biden now has 284 electoral votes. Is now president-elect Joe Biden. Pennsylvania, as you see on this latest map from the Associated Press, is now turned blue. And that gave Biden the 20 electoral votes he needed to put him over the 270 threshold. Uh, Vice President-elect is Oakland native Kamala Harris. Harris, the first woman vice president and the first black and South Asian woman serving in the nation's second highest post. Now, every year we celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th. Marty Gonzalez and Avery Harper have been at the NFL experience in San Francisco this morning. Having a little fun out there. Hi, guys. We're, uh, we're enjoying our time here on the football field. This is called the Play 60 Field. And when we're not on it, they have a lot of kids out here doing uh, football clinics and all that. Avery and I have been busy working out a play. Now, I called Gary Kubiak and Ron Rivera, <laughs> and for some reason, they wanted nothing to do with this play. I was offering it to both of them. But we're going to go ahead and do it for you. So, you ready for this? All right. All right, Avery, ready? We'll put the mic down. All right. Ready, set, Omaha. Darcy and Snacks, I got to tell you, KQED has nothing on you. Thank you so much. We wish you well. That. And what's kind of interesting about the last rain uh, thing was is it didn't really hit the North Bay like it hit down south. Okay, so um, <laughs> we're having a little fun we're getting, with the cameras today. We're getting a better look at our anchors here, by the way. I'm just going to throw my voice. Okay, that's fine. I love you too can be replaced by a plant. Here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Henry Tannenbaum. I'm Isabel Duran. I'm just moving the plants. I'm Marty Gonzalez, Fox 4 News. <laughs> you do it well. Thank you.
This is it, Professor Martin. Yeah, I enjoyed having, working with you uh, for these uh, years that I've been here, the last six years, and all the antidote stories that you brought to the table and certainly your wisdom, both local and beyond. So you and Sue have a great retirement. Remember, Sue does owe us one last zucchini bread here. That's by verbal contract. But to you, my friend, to enjoy your auto years. Salud. The biggest thing that I will miss about you, and we had better keep in contact, the thing I will miss about you, you are just pure class. What a gentleman is a reflection of how your parents raised you, and I'm sure right now they are very proud of the man that you are. Good luck, Marty. Marty, thank you for holding down the Cron 4 Weekend Anchor Desk for all of those years with grace, gravitas, and good humor. Thank you for all the advice over the years and for all the interns. And while I myself never actually took one of your classes at SF State, I certainly learned a lot from you over the years. You will really be missed. Hey Marty, it's been a long time since we were both at Channel 7, now at Channel 4. Just wanted to wish you the best. Congratulations, hoping this next chapter is terrific. Happy retirement. Hi, Marty. Sarah Stinson here. Just wanted to say congratulations on retirement. I'm so happy for you. You've been an amazing role model to all of us, and we're just lucky we got the opportunity to work alongside you. We're certainly going to miss you. Your presence will be missed here at Cron, and hopefully we'll get a chance to stay in contact, and I'll be able to still get some of those life gems for you. Well, good luck on the next chapter of your journey, and we look forward to seeing what happens next. Bye, Marty. I'm so, so incredibly happy for you. I'm so happy that you get a chance to really enjoy life. Uh, I know you love what you do, but I was also, I would also think to myself, like, gosh, Marty really needs to sleep in on the weekends. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to miss you so, so much, but I'm so happy for you and congratulations on your retirement. Congratulations on your retirement. I know that so many people here around the Cron 4 newsroom are going to deeply miss you. Everywhere I've gone around here in these parts, people have nothing but great things to say about you. I'm so happy that you'll be able to do some of the things you've always wanted to do in this next chapter of your life. You know, you and I have only worked together precious few times over the years, but you are such a class act. All the wonderful students you've sent over from your days at the college teaching, they all loved you as much as we do. We're going to miss you. I wish you the very, very, very best as you move on and just stay in touch with us. Let me know. Let us know how you're doing. Okay, Marty, the only thing I'm going to miss about you is Sue's zucchini bread. Mr. Marty Gonzalez, it's Robin Winston. Congratulations on your retirement. It was an absolute honor and a pleasure to be one of your students at San Francisco State. And it was just a dream come true to be your coworker and have the opportunity to co-anchor with you. You've always set such a great example of what a great anchor should be. And I've learned so much from you over the years, your style and your grace. It's just unmatched. You are truly one of a kind. And I'm just so honored to be able to say that I work with one of the greatest. So what time does the retirement party start? I'll bring the DJ. Marty, we are going to miss you so much. Kron is going to miss you. I'm going to miss you as a yes. viewer and just as an amazing person and, and a friend. As a personal note, in my 20 years at Kron, you've always been my friend and my mentor. I will always appreciate the times we spent together working the weekend shift. I love you. Enjoy your retirement. Hi, Marty. It's your pal, Jan Wall, your pal and colleague. I'm so happy for you. Your whole life will begin now. I mean, a new chapter. It's been pretty damn good, but a whole chapter will begin now. Love you, Marty. Mwah. Thank you so much for everything that you have helped me with. I can only imagine the people that you have impacted with your stories and while teaching. This is so well deserved, and the best part of it all is that you can kiss goodbye to those 3 a.m. alarm clocks. Congratulations on your retirement, Marty. You are leaving quite a legacy here at Cron 4 and across the Bay Area. I'm glad uh, you're retiring in good health and in sound mind, <laughs> and may you enjoy all your free time 
and uh, thank you. Marty, I'm so lucky to have been able to work with you the few times that we did, and each time was better and better and so much fun. You put people at ease, whether it's their first time on television or their first time sitting next to a professional like yourself, and that was really special for me. So thank you so much. I know you're going to be enjoying those well-earned weekends, but you will definitely be missed. Hey, Marty, it's Dan. Uh, thank you for all that you've taught us over the years. Uh, many students that you've had have come through, and uh, me being one of them. I never had you as a professor, but uh, I remember seeing you on campus, and uh, it was great to actually be able to work with you. Uh, enjoy retirement. Uh, we're going to miss you. I hope that you enjoy retirement so much. I heard you got some national parks planned on your itinerary, and I look forward to hearing all about your adventures. Thank you for all of your contributions, for the mark you've left on this industry, and certainly Cron 4. Uh, you got the best mustache in the game, so <laughs> I've always loved that. And now you can have a great retirement. You've earned it. Uh, much love. Thank you. It's hard to believe that I have known you for 25 years since you started here. Back then, I had dark hair, you had dark hair. <laughs> now we're completely gray. Um, it has been an absolute thrill, and I am so sad that you're leaving, and I'm gonna try not to cry when you leave. <laughs> All right, love you, bye. Congratulations, we'll miss you, Marty. Okay, Marty, time to clean out the locker. Man, the years have really flown by. I feel so lucky to have been able to work with you, to, to know you. Um, I hope we have an opportunity to, to continue that friendship. Enjoy the time, and um, I'll see you around the pool. Hi, Marty. It has been such an honor and a pleasure working with you over the past few years. I'm really going to miss not seeing you on Cron anymore. And I'm definitely going to miss not talking to you every weekend about health. Believe it or not, we've done 155 segments together. So I expect that your retirement will be nothing but happy, stress-free, and healthy. No matter years ago and now, as a broadcaster, as a professor, you are just the epitome of someone who walks the talk and that you lead by example and that even though you are leaving that your legacy will certainly endure so you've decided to leave the building after 25 years this is almost to the day that you joined me on the anchor set in july of 1996. I told him that putting you and me together two latinos on the set was a gimmick and what he really needed to do was cover latino issues more often well we did do that didn't we I know it's somewhat hard to step away from something that you have known and nurtured for so long. And hats off to the producers and the crew that made those shows sing and dance and inform while reflecting the breadth and depth of the Bay Area. You also built a legacy. Congratulations and adios. I hope in all the years that we've been talking about travel, maybe I've given you some ideas or inspirations for ways to fill all that spare time you're about to have. I can't wait to hear about all the places you're going to go. Congratulations. I'm thrilled for you and your family. Hey, Marty. Ken Wayne here. Just wanted to wish you a very happy retirement. I remember watching you back in the 80s when you worked at KCRA in Sacramento. I was up in Chico. I know that makes both of us seem very old. But anyway, happy retirement. Happy trails, good luck, take care. Marty, you went from being my college professor more than two decades ago to being an amazing mentor and supporter. Many of my successes have been a direct result of your help and your guidance, and I will forever be grateful for your friendship. It actually pains me to see you leave the airways, but I am incredibly excited for you and the new chapter you are about to begin. Congratulations, Marty. TV news will not be the same without you. Bye, Marty. We're going to miss you. Hi, good luck. Good luck. Hi, Marty. Just wanted to say how honored and lucky I am to have worked with you so closely over the last couple of years. Uh, to be able to be by your side and working with you through some of the biggest breaking news stories that I've ever covered has been an incredible learning experience for me. The kindness you've always shown me, your willingness to help and teach, and your just wealth of knowledge is something I'm truly going to miss. I'll continue to hold it down here on the weekends. It's going to be hard without
about Sue's zucchini bread, though, I'm sure gonna try. But thank you so much for everything, and big, big congratulations to you. We'll, we'll miss, miss you, Marty! Congratulations! Thank you so much for everything you've done to help us get ready for this new building. And we also want to thank you so much for connecting Becca to the broadcasting community at Cron and the wider Bay Area. It means so much to all of us and our students. You said 10 or 15 years ago this building wouldn't be done until after retirement. Well, here it is. And you're retiring a second time. Congratulations. Congratulations, Marty Gonzalez, on your retirement from Cron. Now you're going to have more time to spend with us here. We've missed you here at Becca. I'm sure they're going to miss you at Cron. And most of all, your audience is going to miss the way that you report with integrity every day. Congratulations. I know I will miss seeing you every weekend morning. Hi, Marty. It's Elaine Lee Young. Just want to say thank you for being such an inspiration over the years and congratulations on your retirement from Cron. To one of the greatest professors and mentors of all time, you were there for some pivotal moments in my life. I am so happy to have the chance to send the best of wishes at this really important moment in yours. Thank, thank you, Marty. Congratulations. Hey, Dad, congratulations on retiring after 40 plus years in the business. Something to be very proud of. I'm so excited for you. I'm so proud of you. Um, I can't wait to see where retired life takes you. And I'm just so excited for you. Congratulations. I love you. And woohoo! Congratulations. congratulations. Hey, Dad. 44 years. Wow, that is quite the accomplishment. <laughs> we are so proud of all the hard work you've done and so excited for your next adventures. You can travel all the new places you want to go to, read all the books you want to read, and just generally relax and enjoy life. <laughs> you definitely earned it. We love, we love you. you. I just want to wish you good health and good fortune in the future with all your plans. I hope you got good plans. I know you do. Um, from Dad, Sandy, and the rest of the family, um, we just love you. Hi, babe. Congratulations. 44 years in the business. That's really something. Congratulations on your 44 years. I'm very happy for you. I'm very happy for us. Now we'll have time to travel and do the other things that we'd like to do. So here's to the next phase. Oh, the one thing first. I think we can get rid of the, al the alarm clock. What do you think? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> the alarm clock is going in the Out of here. No more 3 a.m. <laughs> weekend phone calls. Uh, earlier on, Matt was uh, talking, of, Matt Dunn was talking about missing Sue's zucchini bread. Matt, we, <laughs> we got you covered. <laughs> We're going to get deliveries, I'm hoping. I'm hoping we get some deliveries. Thank you so much. That, that was unbelievable and overwhelming, and, and I'm so touched. And, and it's been such a joy to work here. And, and Noel, uh, it's been wonderful working with you for a short amount of time, but I have no doubt that you're going to go as far and as high as you want to. Well, I mean, again, so much of it is due to what I've kind of learned by osmosis, just sitting here and taking notes, you know, mentally on the way that you present the news day in and day out. It really has been a really wonderful learning experience for me, and I'm going to take those lessons with me as I continue on. We have so much, we have, we have a few more little surprises for you, of course. Wow. Uh, we're gonna, before we cut this cake, which, you know, a lot of people were commenting on your mustaches. Oh, got, look at that. Got Perfect. Some <laughs> here for you. But we got a few gifts as it. well. So uh, stick with us. We'll be right back Come after on back. the break. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> Welcome back. Just 9.24 here on right. this Sunday morning. We're sending off Marty Gonzalez with a lot of, uh, with a look back, memory lane. We're taking a walk uh, at his 44-year career. But uh, first, mm -hmm. a performance from someone who is sad. He oh. couldn't make it in here today, so he sent us this instead.
Go crazy, Marty. Happy retirement, bro. <laughs> Uh, Zeke shreds. I had no idea he could play like that. We didn't know, but he's instructing you to go crazy. Wow. It's time for you to let loose. What a tribute to Prince, too. Oh, oh yeah. That I had guitar no idea. Work. Had no idea Hazik had all that in him. <laughs> Hazik, thank you. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. We've got a lot more coming up. Uh, I don't know if it all matches that energy because that's a lot here for us. This that's morning, a tough act to follow. It, it is, but we'll I will find out. I do know our producers have cooked up some good stuff, so stick with us. We'll be right back. Oh, I love it. That's fantastic. Hazik, thank you. <laughs>